Yeah, this right here is hands down been the easiest it's ever been to set up for one of these bundle reviews. Oh, wow. You can actually really see it super well. Oh, no, 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 no. But in dark areas. Oh, yep. Here's a free down. Oh, cool. I was, I was too busy trying to show off. All right. And welcome back, guys. We're going to be doing something just a tad bit differently today. I actually didn't start buying any bundles in Cold War till season two. Prior to that, I really didn't buy bundles in any game ever. But we started reviewing for videos and having a lot of fun with that. But because of that, we're missing out on some of the Mastercraft weapons in the game. And as we closer to the end of cold wars life cycle i really want to go in and do a tier list slash video where we compare every single mastercraft that's ever been released but because of that we need to go and buy some of the older ones so this is one question i get all the time is how do you see these older bundles that i've reviewed i don't see them in the store anymore if you know one of the weapons in the bundle you can actually go to the creative class go to that weapon go over here to the shop and you'll see every single blueprint ever so if you, we've got the reactive far and we have the mastercraft music legend rock the battlefield with loud music uh mastercraft bundle and this is one of the better mastercrafts in my opinion but at the time i was reviewing bundles so we never bought it and you comes with this fantastic ffar i kind of know what the inspect looks like but i really don't know the full thing and i only saw it in warzone so i'm definitely excited to check out the inspect on this in zombies check this out with pack a bunch camos all that stuff but on top of that it comes with an amp as well these two weapons this is the best ar in zombies hands down if you're going to high rounds this is really the only ar that can hang with the other weapons on high rounds same thing that amadi is the single best bullet weapon in the entirety of zombies right now and that looks fantastic no sort of tracers any of that but it's still a very good looking weapon we're really not going to focus on anything else in this bundle we're really not going to review this rockstar skin because it's it's kind of basic not going to waste any time with that same thing with the soul searcher watch i mean and the the center stage bike uh the super disco charms actually kind of cool this i didn't even realize this was an animated charm this might have been one of the first few animated charms we got in cold war and it might look really cool on a dark map like zombies and then the emblem and calling card pretty lame so in this bundle we're only going to focus on these three items here and this kind of is up to you guys whether we continue this or not there are three other mastercrafts in the game if you guys like this and this gets support i'll you know i'll do the other three mastercraft bundles we'll go and maybe we'll double up we'll buy two of them in one video we'll review both mastercrafts like a double mastercraft video and then after that's over we'll make a full mastercraft tier list comparing every single mastercraft released in cold War. with that being said let's buy this old bundle from season i think probably one or two one of the first mastercrafts introduced the game can't believe we're just now getting this for a video but i'm excited i've really wanted this ffar for a long time <laughs> and just like that we're now loaded onto malwater totem with the weapon here let's turn off the flashlight to begin with and that charm is actually fantastic it glows a lot i really didn't know about this charm that much till this bundle review but that charm is honestly really cool in a dark map like malware tone let's go ahead and see the inspect for this brand new or not, i shouldn't say it's not brand new this old old ffar mastercraft i'm so used to only renewing or reviewing the new ones all right that's pretty sick that is pretty sick so you go to inspect it and you start straight up playing the piano on the weapon. All right, it's definitely not the coolest inspect ever. Obviously, you know, we've got ones that have like genies that come out of it. We've got ones and other stuff. I think it's one of the coolest looking. It itself looks fantastic. The inspect reminds me a lot of the KSP Mastercraft we got that had uh, a tape that you put in it. it overall, it's not super unique um in terms of that but let's go ahead buy the damati apply blueprint and it is uh the amped up uh apply blueprint amped up oh that is sick let's turn off the flashlight for that dude i think these might be the the best part of this bundle pack a bunch camos on this might be the best looking amp in the game like look at this it's so different and stuff like that and since we don't get master crafts on you know secondary weapons like pistols unfortunately this is really the best we get as kind of like a cool looking secondary i really wish we'd get a full-on mastercraft pistol at some point but i doubt that is going to happen with that being said i gotta go ahead now open up the map so we can see what these bad boys look like with pack a bunch camos while i'm doing that if you're new here and want to sub i would greatly appreciate that 
we are so freaking close to 150k subs i think we're like 50 subs or we're 500 subs away so a massive thanks to everyone who's gonna sub uh and a huge thanks to everyone who's gonna give a like comment and watch this video in its entirety as those three things help my channel out massively and it definitely helps me out grow oh wow you can actually really see it super well oh no 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 but in dark areas oh yep here's a free down oh cool i was i was too busy trying to show off the charm but let's go ahead and look at how much this charm just glows down here under in this area. Yeah, I can't show it off too long because we've got the rampage inducer on and I'll end up going down another time, which I really don't want to do. One of my biggest hopes for DLC for the final map in Cold War Zombies, I really wanted to have a good looking pack of punch like Mauer or Toten. When Mauer or Toten came out, I love trying all different weapons with the pack of punch camel, all three different tiers. And it's not like the D machine of pack a bunch camo where you can kind of tell exactly what it's going to look like because it was the same exact like camo, but just different colors all the way through. Mauer or Toten has different uh, alternative textures, has different kind of motions in between like each like you can tell it's kind of the same camo, but it's actually very different between all the stages and taking my previously owned Mastercraft weapons. I had a lot of fun. Like if you notice all my videos right when Mauer or Toten came out, even if we were reviewing something else, each one was a different Mastercraft because I want to see how those bad boys looked with Mastercraft camos. I really want that same feeling for the final map in Cold War Zombies, a really good looking camo. And I might make a video showing all the Mastercrafts I own pack a punch in the brand new map if it looks cool, which kind of sucks for Firebase Z. Not going to lie, Firebase Z kind of got done dirty because to me, nothing really changed about that map. There wasn't really anything groundbreaking. So there wasn't, I don't know, Firebase Z didn't have the same magic touch that D Machina and Mauer or Toten did in terms of like replayability and content. And on top of that, it had the same pack a bunch camo that Outbreak had. And uh, well, I guess Firebase Z came out before Outbreak, but it had the same pack a bunch camo that the map that came before it did. So there wasn't a whole lot of magic in pack a punching. And I know it's a small thing. We're talking about pack a punch camos on a map, but I really do think that adding a new pack a bunch camo into Mauer or Toten made a huge difference. And it, it kind of just sucks for Firebase Z in the long run, because that's something that's never going to be changed. Firebase Z is always going to have the D machine of pack a punch and it it kind of sucks it does definitely it takes away a little bit from that map and crap you know what I've been talking too much and not worried about what round it is it's round 10 we're about to get the panzer spawn and we still don't have power on so let's try to rush up there really quick and not get this down because we already lost the self revive wait what oh no I'm such an idiot I put the fuses in but forgot to flip the switch and now all the zombies are in the freaking room so we've got to get back in there legitimately just trained out out of that room, got all the zombies in there. I'm like, all right, let's take the zip line up. Didn't flip the switch. Got the fuses in there. They're both in there. I just didn't flip the freaking switch. All right, anyway, he's gone. And so is the Panzer. Bye-bye. Oh, convenient enough. We actually have enough to go ahead and pack a punch both of these weapons right here, right now. Let's go ahead, pack a punch the FFAR. Oh, and it's got pretty good coverage. The scope isn't covered, but that's a pretty sick weapon. I think the final tier is going to look absolutely fire on this with the gold and purple um, it does cover, the red does cover a lot of the barrel there, which might mean it might not look the best with mastery camos. Diamond might be pretty special on it, but with that, ooh, let's go ahead and get the Damatis. Ah, oh, and I mean, they don't look bad, but it doesn't cover the barrel. So with whatever camo you have, it's going to have to clash with like this blue tip. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I really like these Damatis, but that barrel's kind of kind of ugly there unless you got a really good collar coordinated camo with it all right round 24 i think it's time we go ahead pack a punch our weapon for a second time doesn't actually look too bad on the ffar here but i'm more interested about that final tier same thing this looks a little bit better with the light blue but uh i don't know that light blue on the front just kind of messes with this weapon a little bit yeah this right here is hands down been the easiest it's ever been to set up for one of these bundle reviews spawned in with the ffar was able to buy this wall weapon right off there. They're two of the best weapons in zombies, but here we are around 28. Let's go ahead, triple pack it. Dude, it looks so, actually, you know, when it's got a lot of the light blue, it actually kind of really works with this weapon. Not so much when it's kind of in the orange reddish state, but when it has that light blue effect on it, like it really does work with the barrel and everything there. Even the purple looks really good with the light blue, but uh, that's not what we're here to see. Let's check out the FFAR with the final tier. And that looks fantastic. A bunch of gold there right in the front. Let me turn off the face cam for just a second so you can see the entirety of the barrel when we look at it. But yeah, you can see that entire barrel. 
I mean, it's got the gold. It's a really good looking Mastercraft. And now here we are loaded into a private match. This is what the FAR looks like in just a normal lobby here. It looks cool, but to me, one of the best parts about the FAR inspect is that you get a really good look of the weapon. Unfortunately, when he takes it at that angle, you don't get that same insane inspect that you get with the normal FAR, but not really a complaint there. Here's what the normal amps look like. And so far for Pagawunch camos, I think the Pagawunch camos look fantastic on the FAR. Didn't really do so well with the Damatis here, but maybe as we start going into gold, we're once again going to be skipping over gold Viper and Plague Diamond because they're the exact same as normal gold and normal diamond, just different textures. But uh, here is the gold camo actually looking really cool, especially with the bottom there. Don't think I'd ever run it like this. And then for the golden Viper, it'd be the exact same thing, but with the golden Viper texture. Moving on to the amps here. Yeah, dude. <sighs> The fact that that blue doesn't change really ruins a lot of combinations with that weapon. Like, I like the light blue color. It just doesn't go well with pretty much anything else. Oh, and then for the diamond camo, and of course, diamond covers the entire thing. Diamond looks actually fantastic on this weapon. Uh, I don't know. So far, diamond's my favorite. And then diamond still doesn't cover up that ugly blue tip. Once again, not showing off the plague diamond camo because it's the exact same thing except pink here. And then uh, just to kind of cut down on time because the videos are already pretty long. Here is the DM Ultra camo. And all right, not looking too bad here. Uh, ooh, kind of looks nice in the front with the black there. Got pretty good coverage. Then for the pistols. And it actually kind of goes pretty well with the light blue. If any color goes with it, this light purple, this light, like very bright purple kind of matches it. But at the same time, I don't know. I still think I just prefer the default variant over that. Now, last but not least, we have the dark ether camo. Once again, seeming to have amazing coverage. But then again, that's kind of expected. The base FFAR has fantastic coverage, probably the best coverage in the entire game. And then we've got, oh God, that doesn't work at all. So I don't know. I really like this Mastercraft, but it, it's not going to be as good as what I thought it was. I really thought it was one of the best in the entire game. The uh, charm that you get with this weapon is, or this bundle is fantastic. Actually, really like the charm. But yeah, I guess with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Definitely let me know, how do you feel about this Mastercraft weapon? Did you already buy this bundle before I made this review? Because not going to lie, this came out like six months ago. So definitely no one's watching this to be like, ooh, new bundle. Just want to kind of go back, give some review of some of the older Mastercrafts. And if you guys like this and this gets support, we'll go back. There are now three Mastercrafts we don't have videos for. There's one for the Pellington, one for the Bullfrog. And then uh, the AK, the Rocket AK, the original Mastercraft in this game. But oh uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. I want to take the last moment here to thank everyone who's became a YouTube member, our Twitch sub, and an extra special thanks to everyone who became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We get the Legend Sergeant CJ, the e -tool Lawyer You Don't Cross Hoss, the DMCA Claim Waiting to Happen Snap, Hunter Redon Doe, the man whose name should be really easy to pronounce, Ya Master, the friend who always comes through, Drew, and then we have Luke.